Hello, it's story time. And uh, this story might, uh, this little talk might make me sound kind of like a jerk, but that's because I am. And I, I, I want my viewers to realize that I tell you guys all the time that I'm a jerk. Um, so today's been kind of a, a, a little bit of a stressful day. My refrigerator died last night, so I've been scrambling trying to get a new one. I was out and about. I, I swung by my father's house. And um, I'm in a hammock, by the way, in case you're wondering what's behind me, because I just need to relax for a little bit. So I go to my father's house. and Let me just put things in perspective. About six years ago, uh, my father calls me up. He's having computer problems. His computer's running like crap. So I go over there, and I boot Linux on it to... Because it's just running so slow, you can't do anything on it. So I'm doing that to back up his files before we reformat or something like that. And I try to start to explain to him, you know, nicely, that your computer's running poorly because of the software that you have installed on it. It's actually a halfway decent machine and should run good. Um, but it's not because of your choice in hardware and you might want to think about, or choice in software, you might want to think about switching. And he went late in on me on the whole well, I have to use this program for work and that program for work, which is always, you know, it not, not, <laughs> it, that very rarely is true. You know, you don't need Microsoft Office on your personal computer for work. You can use many different Office applications that are out there. I don't even need to name them. Most of my viewers can, can name a handful of them. Anyway, we got into a fight, and we actually didn't talk for, for two or three months. And the only reason we actually started talking again was because uh, my wife got pregnant, and, you know, we want to share that with your family. So uh, that might seem ridiculous, which it is, that I didn't talk to my father over that. And it wasn't, it was just, it's annoying to me. And there's some things get on my skin, but things like when someone asks you for help, and you're trying to help them, and then they argue with you, about what you're suggesting. Like his computer's not working. I come over, I help him. I try to make recommendations and he's gonna argue with me over my recommendations. It's like, well, obviously what you're choosing is wrong, is bad. Anyway, going on to today. So a lot of these story times about stuff that happened in the past, that was a couple years ago. Today, I go to my father's house and we need to look something up online. So I start looking at my phone, he goes, oh, let me get my laptop. He's got this brand new laptop. I think my grandmother bought it for him. 16 gigs of RAM, it looked like a really nice machine. He's like, I, he goes, I just, this is my second time turning out. I haven't even used this computer set up or anything like that. He goes, he goes, but he goes, it lays in on how much he hates Windows 10. But of course he's not gonna use anything else. He's going to continue using Windows 10, even though he, he can't stand how it does anything and how it doesn't have any programs installed out of the box and all that sort of stuff. You know, normal Windows complaints, Windows user complaints, but again, he won't try anything else. But I'm not saying, I'm not telling him, I, I have no plans on suggesting Linux or anything else. It's just, I just stand there and smile. Then he goes into how he has to get uh, the Adobe Photo Suite and stuff like that. And he looks at me and goes, is it is called Photo Suite or Essentials? He looks at me and I go, I don't know. Then he starts talking about office applications, and he's talking about how he uses uh, uh, Corel's office applications, and he's been using that for 30 years, and now he doesn't plan on changing anything else. And I just smile and nod. Again, I'm not saying anything, because I don't want to get into an argument with him, and I know anything I recommend he's not going to listen to. And after a couple of minutes of him talking about all these pieces of software and asking me questions, I finally look at him and I go, are you purposely trying to push my buttons? Because he knows how I feel about proprietary software. And these software in particular, you know, we've had conversations about. He's like, no, no, I'm not trying to push your buttons. And then, silence. Neither of us say anything for a good minute. And then the next words out of my father's mouth are, and this is why I'm telling you this story, because I thought this was just golden. Minute of silence after I tell him I think all that software is crap, and I feel like he's trying to push my buttons, minute of silence, and he looks at me and goes, do you know anything about iTunes? <laughs> and see, it's that sort of thing that aggravates me. It's like, he knows how I feel about proprietary software in general. And I'm not perfect, you know, I use, you know, proprietary drivers and stuff on my machine, and I've got one or two proprietary applications on, on my phone. But for the most part, you know, 99% of what I use is, is open source, and I try to stick with free open source software whenever possible. And he knows how I feel. He knows we've had a fight before. 
And on top of proprietary software, he knows how I feel about Apple products and Apple software even more than, than most of that other stuff. And it's like, it's like I look at that conversation, I'm like, he has got to be messing with me. But he's not. I know he's not. I, I, at least I don't think he is. But it's like, literally just said, I think all that stuff was crap and I want nothing to do with it. And he knows how I feel about Apple. And the next words out of his mouth after a minute of silence is, do you know anything about iTunes? And I, my response was, I just looked at him. I kind of gave him a dirty look for a second. And then I just smiled and shook my head and said, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> which is very, those are big steps for me to not go off on them at that point. And I know it may silly, seem silly to people who don't have tempers like I do and aren't jerks like I am, but it's just like, you're going to use that stuff fine, but don't look at me and even imply that, uh, that I would even think about using that software to the point where I would know. I, I was like, I just want to go, yeah, all I know is that it's piece of crap software, but I've already stated that I think all those programs he was talking about were crap. Anyway, this video might make me seem kind of like a jerk or whatever, but I, I kept my cool, and maybe you're going, well, there's no reason not to keep your cool. Yeah, it's me. I've got it. You know, it's just how I am. And and it's just, just things like that. It just, I feel like people are messing with me. It's like, how can I be any clearer on how I feel about things and you not get it? And it's not like, oh, what happened happened six years ago. We just had a conversation a minute ago. There was a minute of silence. And then you start in with that. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. This story may not have been as entertaining as some of my previous story videos where I'm talking about technology and, and stuff that I've gotten into. But I just thought you might find it entertaining, just that conversation, because I kind of did. And actually, I think part of the reason that I didn't, uh, you know, get more angry than I did was just because I found it so ridiculous how he responded. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Uh, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.